In a world where manipulation lurks around every corner, from the media we consume to the relationships we cultivate, finding a sense of autonomy and inner peace can seem like an elusive goal. But fear not, because we're here to unveil the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy, offering you a shield against manipulation and a path to personal sovereignty. Join us as we dive deep into practical Stoic principles that empower you to navigate life's complexities with clarity, integrity and unwavering self-control. Are you ready to reclaim your autonomy and live life on your own terms? Let's dive in and explore the transformative power of Stoic philosophy together. 1. Learn to control your emotions and not react. Mastering the art of emotional control is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, rooted in the belief that our reactions to external events define our true character. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this wisdom in his famous quote, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. In essence, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate a calm, rational response to life's challenges rather than succumbing to impulsive reactions. When faced with provocation or adversity, the Stoics advise maintaining composure and resisting the urge to react hastily. Instead of allowing emotions to dictate our actions, we're encouraged to pause, reflect and respond with wisdom and restraint. This doesn't imply suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging them and choosing a measured response. One powerful technique endorsed by Stoicism is negative visualization. By envisioning worst-case scenarios and reflecting on the transient nature of life's pleasures, we develop resilience and perspective. This practice not only prepares us for adversity, but also cultivates gratitude for the present moment. In practical terms, mastering emotional control involves developing self-awareness and mindfulness. By observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment, we gain insight into their underlying causes and can consciously choose how to channel them. This empowers us to detach from volatile emotions and respond with clarity and purpose. Moreover, Emotional control enables us to resist manipulation and maintain our autonomy. When others attempt to provoke or unsettle us, we can remain grounded in our principles and values, refusing to be swayed by their influence. This inner strength fosters resilience and protects us from being manipulated or exploited. In essence, learning to control our emotions is not about suppressing them or denying their existence. Instead, it's about cultivating mastery over our responses and harnessing the power of rationality and mindfulness. By embracing stoic principles and practicing self-discipline, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience, staying true to our values and purpose. Two. Focus on what you can control. The Stoic principle of focusing on what you can control offers a powerful framework for navigating life's uncertainties with grace and resilience. This dichotomy, eloquently articulated by Marcus Aurelius, delineates the realm of our agency, our judgments, values and desires from the realm of external circumstances beyond our influence. In essence, it's a call to relinquish futile attempts to manipulate the uncontrollable and instead channel our energy into shaping our internal landscape. Marcus Aurelius, in his timeless wisdom, advises us not to impose our will upon the world, but to embrace events as they unfold, accepting them with equanimity. This doesn't signify passive resignation, but rather an empowered stance of embracing reality as it is, untainted by the distortions of expectation and desire. By internalizing this principle, we reclaim sovereignty over our inner sanctum, fortifying it against the onslaught of external forces. Manipulators often exploit vulnerabilities by directing attention towards external factors beyond our control, sowing seeds of distress and discord. 
However, by embracing the stoic philosophy of focusing on the controllable, we erect a formidable barrier against their machinations. It's a steadfast commitment to anchor ourselves in the present moment, unswayed by the tumultuous winds of circumstance. In this journey of self-mastery, it's imperative to cultivate a heightened awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and reactions. By recognizing the distinction between the internal and external realms, we empower ourselves to respond with clarity and purpose, regardless of the prevailing conditions. Our perspective becomes a beacon of resilience, illuminating the path forward amidst life's ever-shifting landscape. Moreover, embracing the stoic dichotomy of control fosters a profound sense of liberation and inner peace. It liberates us from the shackles of expectation and attachment, freeing us to embrace life's unfolding with open arms. Through this lens, challenges cease to be obstacles and instead become opportunities for growth and self-discovery. In essence, Focusing on what we can control is not merely a philosophical concept, but a guiding principle for living a life of intention and integrity. It's a clarion call to reclaim agency over our thoughts, actions, and ultimately, our destiny. So, as we navigate the complexities of existence, let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and focus our energies where they matter most, within ourselves. 3. Practice Objectivity and Reason In the pursuit of emotional mastery, Stoic philosophy offers a timeless lesson in practicing objectivity and reason. Seneca, the esteemed Stoic philosopher, emphasized the paramount importance of these virtues, asserting that anger allows no room for reasoning. This timeless wisdom underscores the inherent power of rationality in navigating life's complexities. In moments of emotional turbulence, particularly when faced with manipulation or deception, it is imperative to cultivate a mindset grounded in objectivity. Rather than succumbing to the tumult of our emotions, we must step back and engage our faculties of reason. This entails a deliberate effort to assess the situation from a neutral standpoint untainted by subjective biases or knee-jerk reactions. Central to this practice is the application of logic as a guiding light amidst the fog of emotional turmoil. Instead of allowing our emotions to dictate our responses, we must employ reasoned analysis to discern the validity of the claims presented before us. This involves scrutinizing the evidence, evaluating the coherence of arguments and discerning whether assertions hold up under objective scrutiny. Moreover, cultivating objectivity enables us to distinguish between genuine appeals to reason and manipulative tactics designed to exploit our vulnerabilities. By honing our ability to discern truth from falsehood, we empower ourselves to make informed decisions rooted in sound judgment rather than impulsive reactions. However, the cultivation of objectivity and reason is not without its challenges. It requires a commitment to self-awareness and a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths. It entails confronting our own biases and prejudices, acknowledging the limitations of our perceptions and embracing the pursuit of truth above all else. Ultimately, the practice of objectivity and reason serves as a beacon of clarity amidst the chaos of human emotions. It empowers us to transcend the fleeting whims of our passions and align our actions with the dictates of rationality and wisdom. In doing so, we embark on a journey towards greater self-mastery, resilience and inner peace. 4. Don't depend on external things for happiness. In the Stoic philosophy, a cornerstone principle lies in not relying on external factors for one's happiness. True happiness, according to Stoic teachings, emanates from the cultivation of virtue and wisdom rather than being contingent on material possessions, fleeting events, or the validation of others. 
As Marcus Aurelius eloquently penned, happiness comes from within. It is not to be sought in our external circumstances. This profound insight underscores the stoic belief that genuine fulfillment arises from the mastery of one's inner state, rather than being at the mercy of external influences. To internalize this wisdom is to recognize the inherent value of self-worth, which is not derived from external accolades or validations. Instead, it stems from the diligent application of reason and the relentless pursuit of personal excellence. By striving to become the best version of ourselves, we fortify our inner resilience and cultivate a sense of fulfillment that transcends external fluctuations. Moreover, embracing this stoic principle empowers us to detach ourselves from the whims of external forces, be it the actions of others or the unpredictable nature of worldly events. By anchoring our sense of contentment in our internal virtues rather than external circumstances, we liberate ourselves from the shackles of dependency and vulnerability to manipulation. Indeed, manipulation often preys upon perceived dependencies, exploiting vulnerabilities rooted in the pursuit of external validation or material gain. By embodying the stoic ideal of self-sufficiency and happiness, we erect a formidable barrier against such manipulative tactics. Our contentment becomes impervious to external influences, grounded firmly in the unassailable fortress of inner virtue and wisdom. In essence, the stoic admonition to not depend on external things for happiness serves as a guiding light in navigating life's myriad challenges. It reminds us that true fulfillment springs from within, emanating from the wellspring of our own virtues and convictions. By embracing this principle, we chart a course towards a life of authentic happiness and unwavering resilience, unswayed by the tumultuous currents of the external world. 5. Become indifferent to external events. The Stoic principle of adiaphora holds profound wisdom urging us to cultivate indifference toward external events beyond our control. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this notion eloquently by stating, what disturbs people's minds is not events, but their judgments on events. This principle teaches us to detach ourselves from the emotional roller coaster of life's unpredictable twists and turns, fostering emotional resilience in the face of adversity. Embracing indifference towards externals doesn't imply apathy or disengagement from the world around us. Instead, it empowers us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and equanimity, free from the shackles of reactionary emotions. By adopting a rational perspective, we liberate ourselves from the grip of subjective interpretations, choosing to evaluate events based on their inherent merit rather than their impact on our emotional state. In essence, cultivating indifference to external events is a practice in self-mastery and inner peace. It allows us to maintain a steadfast focus on what truly matters, our thoughts, actions and values, rather than being swept away by the tides of circumstance. When we embrace adiaphora, we reclaim agency over our emotional responses refusing to allow external forces to dictate our inner equilibrium. Moreover, this principle serves as a shield against the attempts of others to manipulate or influence us negatively. By remaining indifferent to external pressures and influences, we fortify our emotional boundaries, preserving our mental well-being and autonomy. Instead of being swayed by the whims of others, we stand firm in our convictions guided by reason and integrity. In practice, cultivating indifference requires mindfulness and introspection. It involves cultivating a deeper understanding of the distinction between what lies within our sphere of influence and what falls beyond it. By focusing our energy on what we can control, our thoughts, attitudes and responses, we liberate ourselves from the futile pursuit of trying to change the unchangeable. Ultimately, 
embracing indifference to external events is a transformative journey towards greater emotional resilience and inner peace. It invites us to transcend the turbulence of the external world, finding solace and strength in the unwavering calmness of our inner sanctuary. As we walk this path, may we embrace Adiaphora as a guiding principle, empowering us to navigate life's complexities with grace, wisdom, and serenity. 6. Separate Facts from Judgments In the realm of Stoic philosophy, a fundamental principle emerges, the distinction between facts and judgments. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic thinker, encapsulated this concept eloquently when he declared, everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. This wisdom underscores the importance of discerning between objective observations and subjective assessments. Imagine encountering a situation where someone utters words intended to provoke or unsettle you. In that moment, it's crucial to pause and recognize that what you're hearing is not an indisputable truth, but rather a reflection of the speaker's perspective. By acknowledging this distinction, you create a mental space, a sanctuary of impartiality, where you can receive information without immediately succumbing to emotional reactions or forming hasty judgments. This practice of separating facts from judgments serves as a cornerstone of rationality and discernment. Instead of allowing yourself to be swayed by the emotional charge of someone else's words, you maintain a calm and rational demeanor grounded in the pursuit of truth. This detachment enables you to assess the veracity of a statement objectively, devoid of personal biases or preconceived notions. Consider the implications of encountering a manipulative claim. In the absence of clarity between facts and judgments, you may find yourself susceptible to manipulation, easily swayed by persuasive rhetoric or misleading information. However, by cultivating the skill of discernment, you empower yourself to scrutinize the validity of such claims with a critical eye. Moreover, this practice fosters intellectual integrity and intellectual humility. By acknowledging that our perceptions are inherently subjective, we embrace a stance of humility, recognizing that our interpretations of reality are fallible. This humility encourages openness to alternative viewpoints and a willingness to revise our beliefs in light of new evidence, a hallmark of intellectual growth and maturity. In essence, the Stoic injunction to separate facts from judgments offers a blueprint for navigating the complexities of the human experience with clarity and wisdom. It invites us to cultivate a mindset characterized by rationality, discernment and humility, a mindset that empowers us to navigate the tumultuous seas of life with grace and resilience. So, the next time you encounter a provocative statement or a contentious claim, remember to pause, separate the wheat from the chaff, and discern the truth amidst the noise. 7. Gain Clarity of Judgment Stoicism, with its emphasis on gaining clarity of judgment, offers a timeless lesson in navigating the complexities of truth amidst a sea of misinformation. Seneca's profound words if a man knows the truth, he will soon begin to improve himself, serve as a beacon guiding us towards enlightenment. In today's world, where truth often seems elusive amidst a cacophony of competing voices, it's imperative to apply stoic principles of discernment to distinguish fact from fiction. Each claim that vies for our attention should undergo rigorous scrutiny, subjected to the litmus test of stoic wisdom. Does it seek to illuminate reality, or does it cloak itself in deceit, aiming to manipulate and mislead? Stoics understood the power of clarity and judgment as a shield against the insidious forces of manipulation. By honing our ability to discern truth from falsehood, we fortify our minds against the pervasive influence of misinformation, 
In an era characterized by the rapid dissemination of information through various channels, the need for discernment has never been more pressing. Stoic philosophy provides a time-tested framework for cultivating clarity of judgment, guiding us towards the path of truth and wisdom. By embracing Stoic principles, we empower ourselves to navigate the vast landscape of information with confidence and integrity. It is through the lens of Stoic discernment that we can safeguard our mental faculties against manipulation and distortion. Rather than passively accepting opinions as fact, we engage in critical inquiry, interrogating claims with the rigor of a Stoic sage. In doing so, we not only protect ourselves from the pitfalls of misinformation, but also uphold the principles of truth and accuracy. So, let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and embark on a journey towards clarity of judgment by sharpening our discernment and cultivating a commitment to truth, we equip ourselves with the tools necessary to navigate the complexities of the modern world with clarity and conviction. 8. Reflect carefully before acting. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, the admonition to reflect carefully before acting serves as a cornerstone of emotional resilience and wisdom. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, urged practitioners not merely to boast of their knowledge, but to demonstrate its application through thoughtful deliberation and discernment. This call to action emphasizes the importance of cultivating a deliberate pause between impressions and actions, allowing space for reasoned reflection amidst the ebb and flow of life's challenges. Consider for a moment the power inherent in this practice. By pausing to reflect, we transcend the impulsive reactions dictated by fleeting emotions. Instead, harnessing the clarity of thought and discernment to respond with wisdom and integrity. In the face of manipulation or adversity, this deliberate pause becomes our sanctuary a sanctuary where we can sift through the noise of external influences and align our actions with our inner values and principles. Furthermore, the process of careful contemplation extends beyond mere analysis of the situation at hand. It invites us to explore the depths of our own psyche, probing the intricacies of our motivations, biases and desires. Through this introspective journey, we gain invaluable insight into the workings of our mind, uncovering hidden patterns and biases that may otherwise govern our actions unconsciously. Moreover, in the act of considering alternatives, we exercise the faculty of imagination, a uniquely human capacity that enables us to envision myriad possibilities beyond the constraints of the present moment. This imaginative exploration fosters creativity and innovation, empowering us to devise novel solutions and navigate complexities with grace and adaptability. Ultimately, the sage course of action emerges not from hasty impulses or knee-jerk reactions, but from the deliberate exercise of reason and discernment. It is a course grounded in self-awareness, integrity and ethical clarity a course that honors the inherent dignity and agency of all involved. In essence, to reflect carefully before acting is to embrace the essence of Stoic philosophy, a philosophy that champions the cultivation of virtue, resilience and inner tranquility amidst the flux of life's uncertainties. So let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and embrace the transformative power of reflective contemplation for in doing so, we chart a course towards greater clarity, purpose and fulfillment in our journey through life. 9. Train yourself in logic and critical thinking. Marcus Aurelius, renowned for his stoic wisdom, advocated for the cultivation of robust reasoning skills, underscoring the importance of honing one's capacity for logic and critical thinking his timeless advice resonates as a beacon of guidance in navigating the complexities of our modern world. 
In a landscape saturated with information and persuasion tactics, the ability to discern truth from falsehood is paramount. Training oneself in logic and critical thinking is akin to sharpening a sword for battle, equipping oneself with the tools necessary to navigate intellectual landscapes with clarity and precision. As Aurelius urged, we must embark on a journey of self-education, dedicating ourselves to the pursuit of sound reasoning and logical analysis. This entails not only acquiring knowledge, but also developing the ability to apply it effectively in diverse contexts. Central to the practice of critical thinking is the keen awareness of logical fallacies, inconsistencies, and rhetorical strategies employed to sway opinions and provoke emotional responses. By familiarizing ourselves with common fallacies such as ad hominem attacks, straw man arguments, and appeals to emotion, we fortify our mental defenses against manipulation and misinformation. Moreover, we cultivate the capacity to deconstruct and counter flawed arguments, dismantling their foundations with clarity and precision. Logic serves as a protective armor in the face of psychological pressure, providing a shield against coercive tactics designed to exploit vulnerabilities and sway judgment. Armed with a solid understanding of logical principles, we can navigate contentious debates and contentious debates and contentious debates, contentious debates with confidence, refusing to succumb to the allure of persuasive rhetoric that lacks substance. Furthermore, the cultivation of critical thinking skills extends beyond mere intellectual exercise. It fosters a mindset of inquiry, curiosity, and intellectual humility. By embracing skepticism and questioning assumptions, we embark on a journey of continuous learning and growth, enriching our understanding of the world and our place within it. In essence, Marcus Aurelius's admonition to train oneself in logic and critical thinking is a call to arms, a call to uphold intellectual integrity, defend against manipulation, and pursue truth with unwavering resolve. In an era marked by information overload and ideological polarization, the cultivation of these skills is not merely advantageous, but imperative. Let us heed Aurelius' wisdom and embark on a journey of intellectual empowerment, armed with the tools necessary to navigate the complexities of our world with clarity, discernment, and integrity. 10. Value your freedom and self-respect. In the realm of Stoic philosophy, the concept of valuing one's freedom and self-respect emerges as a cornerstone of leading a fulfilling life. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, encapsulated this ethos with his powerful assertion, Upon no one else depends my living well, but upon myself alone. This sentiment underscores the profound responsibility each individual bears for their own well-being and happiness. Central to Stoic teachings is the recognition that external forces may seek to exert control over us whether through societal expectations, interpersonal relationships, or external circumstances. However, embracing Stoic principles empowers individuals to reclaim agency over their lives, asserting their autonomy and self-worth in the face of such pressures. While fulfilling duties and obligations is important, Stoicism emphasizes that these should never come at the expense of one's dignity or moral integrity. This resonates deeply with the Stoic belief in living a virtuous life, guided by principles of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By prioritizing self-respect and personal freedom, individuals honor these virtues ensuring that their actions align with their deepest values and aspirations. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches that true freedom lies not in external circumstances or material possessions, but in the mastery of one's own mind and the cultivation of inner tranquility. Even in the face of adversity or hardship, individuals can maintain their sense of freedom by choosing how they respond to external events 
reframing challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. Moreover, valuing one's freedom and self-respect entails a commitment to continuous self-improvement and personal development. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate virtues such as resilience, perseverance, and self-discipline, enabling them to navigate life's complexities with grace and dignity. Ultimately, embracing the Stoic principle of valuing freedom and self-respect is a profound act of self-love and empowerment. It involves asserting one's inherent worth and dignity, refusing to be swayed by external pressures or societal expectations. By living in alignment with Stoic virtues and principles, individuals can forge a path of authenticity, integrity and inner peace, leading to a life of profound fulfillment and meaning. 11. Be guided by virtue and wisdom. In navigating life's complexities, it's imperative to anchor our actions in the timeless pillars of virtue and wisdom rather than succumbing to external pressures. As Marcus Aurelius eloquently articulated, wisdom allows you to respect and follow only those who live wisely. This profound insight underscores the importance of discerning ethical conduct and aligning ourselves with individuals and principles that uphold the highest moral standards. In a world fraught with ethical dilemmas and conflicting interests, it's easy to veer off course and prioritize short-term gains over long-term integrity. However, true human excellence lies in the unwavering commitment to virtuous living guided by the principles of prudence, righteousness and wisdom. Rather than being swayed by the allure of unethical influence or societal pressures, we must anchor our decisions in the enduring values of virtue and wisdom. At the heart of this ethos lies the recognition that external forces often seek to exploit and manipulate, tempting us to compromise our principles for fleeting rewards or social approval. Yet by embracing the stoic philosophy of moral fortitude and inner resilience, we fortify ourselves against such temptations, standing firm in our commitment to ethical conduct and righteous ideals. Prudence, the ability to exercise sound judgment and foresight, becomes our guiding light in navigating the murky waters of moral ambiguity. It empowers us to assess situations with clarity and integrity, making decisions that uphold the greater good rather than succumbing to self-interest or external pressures. Moreover, righteous ideals serve as our moral compass, guiding our actions with unwavering integrity and honor by adhering to principles rooted in justice, fairness and compassion. We fortify ourselves against the corrosive influence of unethical behavior, standing as beacons of light amidst the darkness of moral relativism. In essence, to be guided by virtue and wisdom is to embrace a path of moral courage and intellectual integrity. It is to recognize that true greatness lies not in the pursuit of external accolades or material wealth, but in the steadfast adherence to principles that transcend the whims of society and the passage of time. As we navigate the complexities of life, let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and anchor our actions in the timeless virtues of courage, justice and wisdom. Let us stand as exemplars of ethical conduct, guided by the noble pursuit of human excellence and moral integrity. 12. Choose your company wisely. The Stoics emphasized the importance of choosing our company wisely, recognizing that the individuals we surround ourselves with significantly impact our well-being and character. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, famously advised, associate with people who are likely to improve you. This guidance underscores the value of surrounding ourselves with uplifting, principled individuals who inspire growth and foster a positive environment. In our quest for personal development and emotional resilience, it's crucial to cultivate relationships with those who uphold similar values and principles. These friends serve as allies on our journey, 
offering support, encouragement, and constructive feedback. By engaging with individuals who embody integrity, empathy, and authenticity, we create a nurturing space for growth and self-improvement. However, the Stoics also cautioned against the dangers of toxic relationships. They recognized that negative influences can hinder our progress and drain our emotional resources. Therefore, it's essential to sever ties with individuals who perpetuate continuous negativity or fail to meet basic ethical standards of respect, care, and integrity. By setting boundaries and limiting our exposure to manipulative personalities, we safeguard our mental and emotional well-being. This isn't an act of cruelty, but rather an act of self-preservation. It's about prioritizing our own growth and refusing to compromise our values for the sake of maintaining unhealthy relationships. Choosing our company wisely is about surrounding ourselves with individuals who uplift, inspire, and challenge us to become the best versions of ourselves. It's about fostering connections that nurture our souls and contribute positively to our journey towards fulfillment and authenticity. So let us heed the wisdom of the Stoics and be deliberate in selecting those we invite into our lives, for they have the power to shape our destiny and influence our path towards emotional mastery. 13. Master the Art of Ascent Mastering the Art of Ascent, as espoused by Epictetus, entails a profound commitment to intellectual vigilance and discernment. In echoing the wisdom of Socrates, he admonishes against the passive acceptance of ideas, urging individuals to question assumptions and scrutinize outer appearances. This admonition serves as a call to arms, reminding us that reality often diverges from surface impressions, necessitating a steadfast resolve to maintain sovereignty over our thoughts and beliefs. The process of mastering ascent involves a deliberate and methodical approach to evaluating premises and implications before acquiescing to claims. It demands a willingness to interrogate the veracity of assertions, resisting the allure of easy, agreement until their validity has been rigorously scrutinized. This culture stance acts as a suffix guard against the insidious infiltration of psychological Trojan horses, deceptive ideas that, if uncritically accepted, can wield profound influence over our perceptions and behaviors. By cultivating a habit of withholding assent, individuals shield themselves from the perils of intellectual complacency and ideological manipulation. They recognize that intellectual autonomy is not a passive state, but a dynamic process requiring continual engagement and discernment. This proactive stance empowers individuals to navigate the tumultuous seas of information overload and ideological polarization with clarity and conviction. Moreover, the practice of withholding assent fosters intellectual humility, acknowledging the limitations of our understanding and the ever-present possibility of error. It encourages an openness to alternative perspectives and a willingness to revise our beliefs in light of new evidence or insights. In doing so, it promotes intellectual growth and fosters a culture of reasoned, discourse where ideas are evaluated based on their merit rather than their popularity or conformity to prevailing norms. Ultimately, mastering the art of ascent is not merely an intellectual exercise, but a moral imperative. It requires a commitment to truth-seeking and a refusal to succumb to the tyranny of dogma or ideological conformity. By exercising discernment and skepticism, individuals cultivate the inner strength and resilience needed to withstand the pressures of misinformation and propaganda, emerging as vigilant guardians of intellectual integrity and defenders of rational inquiry. 14. Strengthen your sense of purpose. In the Stoic philosophy, 
the cultivation of a robust sense of purpose was regarded as fundamental to leading a fulfilling and virtuous life. Marcus Aurelius encapsulated this notion succinctly when he emphasized the importance of three key elements – certainty of judgment, action for the common good, and an attitude of gratitude, all grounded in the present moment. This timeless wisdom underscores the significance of aligning our daily actions with deeply held values, serving as a moral compass to navigate life's complexities with integrity and resilience. To strengthen our sense of purpose, it is essential to direct our behaviors towards excellence and embody virtuous principles in every facet of our lives. This involves a conscious effort to make choices that uphold moral standards and contribute positively to the greater good. By fostering a mindset of continuous improvement and commitment to noble ideals, we fortify our inner resolve against the allure of superficial rewards and the temptation of mediocrity. The Stoics recognized that true fulfillment stems from living in accordance with our innate values and principles rather than succumbing to external pressures or societal expectations. By anchoring ourselves in a deep sense of purpose, we cultivate a resilience that enables us to weather life's storms with grace and dignity. This inner strength empowers us to withstand adversity and remain steadfast in our pursuit of excellence, even in the face of challenges or setbacks. Moreover, nurturing a sense of purpose imbues our lives with meaning and significance, fueling our motivation to strive for greatness and make a positive impact on the world around us. When we align our actions with a higher purpose, we transcend the pursuit of fleeting pleasures or material gain and instead focus on leaving a lasting legacy of goodness and virtue. In essence, strengthening our sense of purpose is not merely about setting goals or achieving success by external standards. It is about cultivating a deep inner conviction that guides our decisions and actions, rooted in timeless principles of wisdom and compassion. By embracing this philosophy, we embark on a journey of self-discovery and fulfillment where each moment becomes an opportunity to live with purpose and integrity.